Why do so many pastors collect money in the name of blessings from God, in the name of releasing God's blessings on you? Why are we having so many fake pastors, fake prophets on the pulpit, extorting people in the name of giving them blessings from God? Now, in this particular video, I want to show you about one video I saw on the internet and later we are going to analyze it. The reason why we keep on having fake prophets, fake pastors and the possible way that we can stop all these fake prophets and fake pastors. And at the end of this video, you would understand that you and I are the reason why there are too many fake prophets. Why? Because we fail to have a personal relationship with God. My name is Okorcha Happy Marcel. Stay with me. Swai pito give it cash. Ya kwe swai pa no bui ni keze zinkos. I want to anoint them and go. Tifuna ke uni toba di ben di ama. God bless you. I want to anoint your pillowcase. Jiza utobi pillowcase. Take your seat and just jump to the queue. Kata njimbe wi yako kuma izimpe. God bless you. God bless you. Just go to the queue. God bless you. Yempe ni God bless you. Swipe it or give it cash. Yeah, we swipe and we make a zizin also. God bless you. Take your seat of hundred twenty. Just go to the queue quickly. That is where we are. Hundred twenty. Yep, the no cowles. Yeah, I want to anoint them quickly. Then I leave it to Abba Banyabazo and Ntong Bisho. I have so many people to see. Now, you've watched this video and you could see that this man honestly do not represent the voice of God. Actually, if God wants to bless you, God do not need your money to bless you. Even though it is good to support the work of God, it is good to do so many things for God willingly from your heart. But when you tell people that if you want this blessing, you have to sow this type of money. In other words, they are buying the gift of God. They are buying the blessing of God. And you cannot buy the blessing of God. There is no amount of money that can quantify the blessing of God. Even one minute breath that you have. There is no amount of money that can buy it. So, now, the reason why I am so eager to make this video is because you and I are the reason why fake prophets, fake pastors are gaining strength in our society today. Now, I'm saying this because we fail to have a personal relationship with God. It's not bad that you have a pastor. It's not bad that you have a prophet. But it is bad when you remain under pastor forever. It is bad when you remain under a prophet forever. Now, the Bible says that we do not have any other person but one advocate, which is Jesus Christ, that intercede before us, before God for us, I mean to say. In other words, Jesus Christ himself is our advocate. And that is why we pray in the name of Jesus, if you want to pray to God. So, when you have a pastor, the work of a pastor is to convert you to God, not to convert you to himself. So, when a, a pastor or a prophet is converting you to himself, you should realize that you are safe into relationship with Christ, not relationship with your pastor or with your prophet. So, if your pastor sees, if your pastor prophesies, and you yourself ought to have discovered your gift since you are born again, you are in Christ. Christ should be able to use you personally. Christ desired personal relationship. God desired that he should have a personal relationship with you. Not for you to remain under a pastor. This is what I mean. You are sick, you call your pastor. You want to do this, you go to your pastor. You want to get married, you go to your pastor. You want to hear the voice of God, you go to a prophet. You want to do this. Come on, do you really believe in God? Because if you do believe in God, there are so many things that you should have done. Because God loves you personally. God do not love you because of your pastor. God do not love you because of the church you are going. God loves you personally. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, mark that tense, but whosoever believe in Jesus should not perish. In other words, 
The Bible is not saying whoever believes in a pastor or through a pastor, this is a personal something. And that is why a lot of pastors and leading people are straight. And that is why a lot of people are giving up their faith in God because they will say, this pastor is not doing well. This pastor is not doing this. This pastor is fake because of that. I don't want to worship God again. From the beginning, you do not know God. You knew your pastor, not God. Because if you have developed a personal relationship with God, if you have developed that personal you know, relationship with God. There is nothing your pastor would do that could make you to say, I do not believe in God. You've never believed for the first time because your pastor converted you to himself. Now, the question I want to ask you is this, is your pastor converting you to God or to himself? Are you being converted to God or you are converted to a church? Remember that when you are converted to a church, that is not a relationship with God. Is a relationship with the church. And anything that happens in the church automatically will have effect on you. I swear a lot of people will say, I do not go to church any longer because what I see in the church, the system and everything is not pleasant. And people's mentality is telling them that since the church is not a good place for me to stay, therefore I don't want to worship God anymore. Come on. God desire you to have a personal relationship with him. Why do you say you don't want to worship God because the church has done one or two things to you? You are wrong. God do not want you to worship him because of a church. Even though God desire that people should gather to praise him. You've got to know this. If you understand what God wants from you, it will save you from a lot of fake prophets and false prophets. Now, I am telling you this because the Bible has foretold us that time will come that false prophets shall arise and they shall deceive many. And I don't want you to be part of the people that these false prophets are going to deceive. For the love of God and for the church. I am Okocha Happy Marcel. Please stay with this channel by subscribing and owning your notification button as we bring to you many more videos. Swipe it or give it cash. I want to annoy them and go. I want to anoint your pillowcase. Take your seat and just jump to the queue. God bless you. Just go to the queue. God bless you. I'll swipe it or give it cash. God bless you. Take your seat of 120, just go to the queue quickly. Yeah, I want to anoint them quickly, then I leave it to Ababa Nibazo, Anoint Bishop. I have so many people to see.